Kim K, and I am here with another Kit Conspiracy layout for you guys today. And today I am going to document one of the much needed haircut for my daughter. Now, um, if you guys all have little girls, you know that it is tough to convince them that they need to cut the straggly ends of their hair off. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> But we struggled with this so much that I'm glad I took these photos a couple years ago um, and was able to document this because now it's not a big deal. She asks for her haircut all the time. But when she was little, it meant something to her, like she didn't want her haircut. So anyways, I'm sharing with you guys uh, the clouds that I picked out and then from the sunshine mix, all of the bits and pieces that... Um, you know, I have high hopes to use. And clearly they're all pink because back in the day, my daughter was a fanatic about pink. Now this is my youngest daughter. Um, my oldest daughter was orange and purple uh, for reasons unknown, but <laughs> actually one of the reasons is known. But anyways, um, pink was definitely my little girl's favorite. And in fact, her dad still thinks that she likes pink. Teal is more her color now, but um, her dad still thinks she likes pink and everything that he finds is pink. And then I show, I show her the same thing in teal and she's like, ooh, <laughs> breaks daddy's heart, but it's okay. He'll get over it. His little girl is growing up and he just doesn't want to admit it. All right. So I picked out this Hawaiian shirt paper to use as um, part of my layout or the background of my layout and a white sheet of cardstock. Now I'm not going to do any mixed media or anything because this paper basically speaks for itself. It does all the work for me. It's got this great uh, grungy look already. So I decided I'm going to tear it off in uh, basically where the colors are. Um, one of the things that I've learned about this paper is it doesn't tear very well. It almost like splits in half um, because it is very thick cardstock. And so I do have a little bit of issue um, getting it to tear, but it's not too bad. Um, I just have to keep in mind not to, uh, you know, tear it like I do normally do um, in long strides. I have to use little shorter rips and whatnot. So instead of putting the paper back exactly the way that um, it was printed, I decided to put the blue up at the top and bring that um, yellow and orange down at the bottom and then basically hide the green altogether because I just don't feel like it's uh, it works for my layout. Um, another thing that I realized is that uh, the strips going all the way across at the bottom were a bit too much, so I decided to only use a little bit of this paper. So I'm just trying to get it to work uh, to where I have enough to play with and yet still get an impact. I definitely um, am going to be hiding up, hiding that butterfly so it'll be behind my photos so you really won't get to see it but I like how colorful it is. So I'm going to use my edge distressor to help me just ruffle up the edges a little bit. I'm not going all crazy because they are ripped already uh, but I do like that lift that the edge distressor does when it curls up the edge of the paper. That's one of my favorites. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I'm still a little under the weather, um, but getting better by the day, I promise. Hopefully, uh, come December, my my voiceovers won't be so annoying and I'm obnoxious. I can't even say that word with a plugged nose. <laughs> All right, so liking the way that my paper strips look, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them down. I do like how the yellow one is at an angle, so I am definitely going to leave that one there. Um, kind of turned a little bit and then just use my trimmer and my scissors to help trim the paper up and square it off with my base cardstock. So now I'm going to trim my photos down as small as I can make them because I want to leave space uh, to be able to decorate the page. Um, it's not anything, I mean, how do you decorate a haircut, right? I've always struggled with decorating haircuts, but I do like... Um, following my daughter's haircut journeys. I always thought it was pretty cool. So we, we don't, my husband and I don't get school photos. Um, we feel like there's never an option for us. I wish they would just offer us a digital option and then I get to print my own sizes. But um, we have never really done the school picture thing. And back in the day, I had my documentation of all my crazy haircuts based off of my school pictures. 
But now, because we don't do that, I have been documenting my um, two daughters' haircuts based off of just photos that I take at the salons. Um, my my um, oldest daughter went from super long hair to super short hair to now she likes it medium height, you know, in, in the middle of the two. Um, whereas my, my youngest daughter, um, she's always liked long, long hair, but she has super, super thick hair, like enough for two heads. It's crazy thick. And um, she doesn't like to, well, back in the day, she didn't like to brush it. Um, and so we, we basically told her that if she wasn't going to brush it on her own, and this was, of course, when she turned about seven or eight years old, um, we told her if she can't handle brushing it on her own, then she needs to um, get, a, get a haircut until she can manage it. So we, we convinced her to chop off her hair, um, and then that way she had a small portion of hair to learn how to brush on, and then as it grew out, she could continue to learn how to brush longer hair. And it has worked wonders, you guys. Once we um, got past that, it really did work um, in our favor. And she has beautiful hair. She takes care of it every day. She braids it. She buns it. She curls it. She, oh my gosh. And I remember those days. I spent hours um, doing my own hair. So I just, I love it. I love how she loves her hair. So, um, anyways, with this one here, this one was a nightmare. Um, she is about five years old in this, um, in these photos. And I, I have to say that, uh, it, it was awful just trying to convince her to cut off the dead ends. It was bad. It really was. Um, but she was really super happy with it by the time that the hairstylist finally, um, convinced her that it was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> super, super happy with it. Um, so uh, I didn't have a title that I really liked in the kit. So I brought out this super old, I don't even remember, uh, I don't remember um, whose thickers these even are, um, but they're like an ombre rainbow. And they're the shiny ones, they're not the dull ones. So two sets of these came out, and I know I think one of them was, I want to say a Maggie Holmes or a Paige Evans <clears throat> and uh, this one is the shiny set out of the two. And I really liked the lovely, and I liked the fact that it matched my yellow and orange that I had down at the bottom. And then, of course, they had two little hearts to go with, well, three, actually. And then I found this fourth heart, but it was just, it was too wide, too big. It just didn't fit anywhere. <clears throat> it wasn't nice and petite like the other one was, but... When I started looking for a home for it, I realized three is better. I don't know why I was trying to add a fourth. I think it was just because it was the right color. So um, I left it. I did back the open hearts with just a scrap piece of white cardstock. So that way I, I had more of a solid heart. I really do like that uh, look better than having just the heart stuck to the page. And that is my layout for today. I do really want to know about your guys' haircut journeys with your littles, whether they're boys or girls or whatever. My boys, oh my gosh, they are so funny. They've gone from mullets to uh, mohawks to the Beatles haircuts, you guys, seriously. They're just hilarious. But they have, you know, they are allowed to do that. Anyways, um, you know, not allowed, but they they have more freedom to mess with their hair than girls do. So anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, truly appreciate it every single day, you guys. This is just so fabulous. I love this community. Um, please be sure to check out Janet Fritz, who is Galaxy Girl Creations here on YouTube. Um, Kit Conspiracy is um, Janet's and mine's brainchild that we came up together. And we have so much fun working with a kit um, and, and sharing you guys um, multiple ways on how to thank you so much for hanging out with me again. I truly appreciate it. And, uh, I will check you guys all later. Bye.